Hi, I'm James Lott Jr., Super Organizer, and this is a special edition of the Super Organizer Show video edition. And that's why I do these every once in a while, because especially now with the coronavirus pandemic outbreak happening, um, I have regular shows, and I have an episode this week with Laura Leist, and she talks about how the coronavirus pandemic has affected her business practices um, when it first started. So um, it's a great, you can find it anywhere where podcasts are streamed. I mean, anywhere from Apple Podcasts to Deezer to iHeartRadio, Spotify, you can find it there. That's the SOS Show with James Lott Jr. And next week, I have another guest talking about how the coronavirus affected her business, too. So we're going to talk, that's kind of, that's the regular show we're doing. But I decided to come on and do a video because I've been asked questions and I actually have them written down because I write everything down. That's another tip for you guys out there. Um, and these are the top three questions I'm getting asked right now because about organizing at home because people are at home. And people are asking me these three questions the most because you're probably hearing out there, now you have time to do those products you always want to do. Now you have time to organize. Now you have time to declutter. And some people are like, well, I don't know what to do. What am I doing? Where do I start? What are so these are the questions I get asked, and I'm going to answer them for you. So this is a quick video. One um, is, where can I get help, though, and encouragement? There is virtual organizing. There is, are people out there who do virtual organizing. Now, I'm not the expert. I've had people on my shows um, talk about virtual organizing, and uh, I think I'll probably start highlighting those episodes uh, on our Facebook page, which is a Super Organizer show. Uh, and also our Twitter page, which is at the SOS underscore show. So I'm going to do those, so to highlight those. But there are people who do virtual organizing. And, um, but there also are people who, you're just called an organizer, they will gladly talk to you over the phone, through Skype, through FaceTime, through Zoom meeting, whatever. Uh, you'll call one, and, and, they, and maybe they can still be a cheerleader for you. Call me if you're, you know, call me. I'll be a cheerleader for you and talk to you and talk you through as you're organizing papers or clothes. Um, the virtual organizing is very fascinating and, um, and it works for some people. I know it doesn't work for everybody, but it works for some people out there. And so maybe you should just check that out and take a look into that. You go to naple.net, uh, they have a virtual organizing whole section. So you get a uh, division, so you can do that. Another question I get is, but I'm told I can't really leave the house that much unless it's necessary. I, what if I, why can I, I can't take the clothes and stuff out the house? So my thing is, any movement is movement. So if you have a, stuff you need to be shredded, so you decide to go through papers. All that stuff needs to be shredded if it's in a bag, at least it's in a bag. So when we're able to freely move about again, you can just take that and be your first part, one of your first priorities and get it out. Um, I think it's, it's uh, imperative that... Um, you do take this time to declutter your house, organize your house, and you know if it's old toys and you put them in boxes. I mean, you can. I always say you can neatly put them somewhere. There's no place in the house or in the garage or somewhere, and put them there until for the time being. And then when you're able to freely go about your day, get them out the house. Because I know we all, most organizers were like, okay, once you get it and sort it, get it out, right? Um, I also talk to you, uh, and if you have stuff that's useful, here's another tip. Call your local Red Cross or somebody or churches and see if people need stuff. People are low on items. I mean, you may have something that, you know, blankets and things you don't need anymore, you know, you don't need and you want to get rid of all clothes, pass them on to them. You know, shelters, homeless shelters, who knows who may need it. And they may come and you can leave the stuff outside and they pick it up. So that's an idea too. So I, I, but I still think if you don't do any of that, um, set it aside somewhere. You, like you go through your books you have a stack of books you want to get rid of, put them in a bag and set them aside and, and mark them. These are books to go. And it's still, movement is any movement. I just fully believe that. And the third one is, oh, where do I start? <laughs> well, that's the thing. Um, I always tell people, you know, my motto is small steps lead to large rewards. So my thing is start small. You don't have to rush. I mean, probably be home for a while. Um, and you should never do it when you're tired. I say, well, don't do organizing when you're tired. Always do it when you're ready and alert and ready to do it. Um, start with a drawer in the kitchen. Work your way around. I always say do things. I, I do things like from either left to right or right to left or top to bottom, or bottom to top. I'm very much kind of a linear person comes stuff like that. Because you see the progress as you move along. And it's easy when you stop where to start again. It's an easy place to point and a marker. So I always say kind of move across. 
um, choose a corner in the living room and then go from left to right and go all the way and just keep moving around. around. Uh, start at the bottom of the closet. I, I did a client the other day. We did, we started from the floor and worked our way up. Once we got that floor cleared off, it just made, just made things seem so much easier and it just seemed better and it made things faster once you got above that. So start in a linear way, but I say just pick something small, pick a small space, pick a, a counter and say, okay, this, this piece of corn should go somewhere else, you know, and put it somewhere else. But that's kind of what my recommendation is, just start small. So those are my three questions that I get asked most right now during the coronavirus in your home. People say, you should organize, you should declutter. And you should, if you have the time, uh, do that. And uh, I don't know, good luck to you. I want, everybody, I want everybody to be safe and sane and calm. But also, um, do the things you probably haven't had a chance to do. Get a chance to do them. I'm doing it, I'm organizing stuff. I'm getting things that I haven't done before either in a while. Because we have busy lives. So maybe it's the time to get to do that. If you're not working from home, some of you are working from home, you might still be busy, but if you're not, maybe it's an idea to do that. Uh, I'll be back on a periodically with some videos during this time period, talking about various, various concerns. And you can follow me everywhere at James Law Jr., of course. But The Super Organizer um, is on Facebook at Super Organizer and The Super Organizer Show. Uh, we're on Twitter at The Super O and The SOS underscore Show. You can follow me there. And I'm on TikTok. I've been promoting that. James Law Jr., I posted a new episode of my... How to Get Super Organized in Under a Minute series. I'm James Lott Jr. Talk to you next time.